For City Live, so many beautiful things happen over at Earthworks, and Kevin E. Counts is back, back with us now. The last time that we spoke, Kev, mm -hmm. you all had just done a beautiful water feature for yes. Caddyshack Ranch. Yes. I know we're going to see you at the Home and Patio Show yes. as well. But you're more than a garden center, an outdoor building uh, place. You you have these ladies' nights. Yes, yes. We try to do something crafty to get everybody out the house and do something fun outside, something to do with nature, some kind of nature-oriented topic. So, yeah, we like to have fun a little bit. <laughs> so today we're talking about pressed flowers, but there are some other things on the table as well that we will definitely get to. But your upcoming ladies' night with pressed flowers, or did we miss that one? Yeah, so we, this, we one, missed that one, yeah, right? this one was just this, as this right, last okay. Friday, but it was lots of fun. But we do have some up-and-coming um, events that are coming up this fall too. So. But just as an example, the reason I specifically had said, please save us a few of those pressed flowers <laughs> yeah. is it's just such a unique concept and it is something that you can do on a regular basis. Mm -hmm. At the beginning of the show, Rand suggested that it's as simple as you put them in books, the yes. flowers. So that's true. Yeah, so uh, probably about 30 days before the actual event, we went out to our garden center and we picked all these flowers and we had these ginormous plant books and we stuck, we, you have to put them in between tissue or tissue paper put them in there and then put them in the book and let them sit for like a month and you kind of see what does good and what doesn't do good. And I love the end result because anytime you could make something and it's worthy enough to actually show other people yeah, and yeah. have it in your house and obviously you created something, right? So over here you have some examples and uh, I love how there's just different colors obviously so yeah. it really pops and it's yeah. unique. And then the other thing, let's talk about how you actually made a little frame with yes. tape. Yes. So this right here, we actually made little coasters for you guys. Um, very simple. You could say it only took about five to six leaves. Um, this is some copper tape that we actually put around the whole thing just to hold it together. Um, since it's a coaster, the copper tape does well if you're putting a wet drink or whatever on there. We tried washi tape did not do well. It peeled <laughs> off right away. So that's when we, we like this because it's very shiny and it's durable. Mark, so. why don't you design a coaster? Let's yeah, see what you got. Yeah, we have tons got. of options. So I, I'm, right away I'm going with the colors because I yes. like the way the, the color kind of mm -hmm. pops here. And then um, are you putting any type of glue or anything like that on yeah. here? Do you suggest it? Like what, what do you recommend? Yeah, so we like the E6000. Um, very good. It dries clear. So Good old E6000. Yeah. So That's a favorite need, of mine as well. <laughs> yeah, so all you need <laughs> is just a little dab on here just to make sure that it's secure. Because when you're putting the tape on there, you have to pick it up and move it around. And you don't want your flowers falling out while you're doing that. So. And these these glass pieces, these are available where? At a craft store? Yeah, we <laughs> it's very funny. We found those online at a bridal wedding a oh, bridal nice. uh, website. So they're just plain glass. And we literally thought of the idea of just sticking them two together and taping them together to make them stick. So by themselves, they're just a plain old coaster. And while Mark is doing his, his genius, his yes. artistic brilliance, why don't we talk yeah. about some of the other events you do have coming up? Yeah. Because because we see painted pots and we've done that before on our yes. show and also this sign. So yep. tell us a little bit, Kevin. Yes, yeah, so at the end of October, we are going to do a fall slash Halloween themed ladies night pot painting class. We've done this one in the past with, our, with the kids and the ladies. It's very popular, it gets sold out right away. So definitely if you're interested, get your ticket right off the back. Uh, but yeah, we're just gonna be giving you a pot to paint and we're gonna be giving you a mum to plant up with it as well so you can use it as decoration around your house. Okay. I love it, so. and these look great. And yeah. then, uh, I don't know if you noticed over here where Eden come over here, look what I did. I took this flower and that stem and I put it up so it looks like it's coming out of that one. Oh, you right. are something else. Yeah. Mark yeah. Do, do you <laughs> ever <laughs> stop impressing us? It just surprises them. It's all about impressing yourself. Earthworks <laughs> Jacks is the website, and that's where you can find out about the ladies' nights as well. Yes. Kev, thank you so much thank for you so joining much. us. We're going to send it over now to Rance. <laughs>